coming from a place of, of colorful names. And I, I think it's generally known that Zimbabwe is that kind of sort of culture where parents give us these names that speak, that say something. Um, they do sound normal in our native languages, but it's only when you translate them to English that they have the interesting spin to them. Um, in terms of what I was going for with the title, I, I wrote from a space that was difficult to my, in my country's imagination and, and history. Um, and I felt like we needed new ways of looking at ourselves, new ways of imagining our realities, of thinking about our destinies, new ways of leadership. So it's a, it's a call, I guess, for, 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 for some sort of reimagining things. And even beyond Zimbabwe, I feel like because the book goes to the US, I feel like the world outside also needs a new way of looking at, at, at others, people coming. Yeah. I came looking for a country that I left in December 99 and obviously the country had changed and it's common knowledge that things have been rough, um, you know, the lost decade, so the country sort of unraveled, so to speak, and to see the physical signs of, of that lost decade um, manifest through things like thousands of people having left the country. Um, through just walking around roads in disrepair, um, seeing more people unemployed. So those, those were kind of rough to get used to. Uh, I'm coming for the second time now, and it's, it's not as shocking as it was for the, for the first yeah. time. But that said, home is still home. Bulawa is still sings, you know. Uh, my people are still here. It's, it's wonderful being, being back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Question is, you know, being a Zimbabwean in 2013, we are just uh, emerging from a, an election, you know, that left people with mixed feelings in terms of, of the results. And, uh, you know, given the, the, the state of things on the ground, one gets worried about what it means to, to people, to everyday things like healthcare, uh, the state of education. The power cards, the water cards, you know, it's, 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 it, it troubles one's spirit because we know as human beings everybody hopes for betterness. So it's being in a state of hope that, that things change for the, for the better, that people realize their, that the people in the country sort of realize their, their potential. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, it's one of those things where we have to see. We are home. Um, it's, it's simply amazing, you know, you don't write to be recognized, you write firstly to tell your story, then you hope that a reader is going to find it worthwhile. So for me to get this kind of recognition, at this stage I'm just starting out, we need new names, it's my first novel, and I'm also the first Zimbabwean to, to ever make it this far, and the first black African woman. It's, it's such a humbling, it's a very humbling experience and I'm really encouraged to keep working. So we'll see what happens from here. Brilliant. Thank you very much.